Hello. <laughs> I look so bad. This is me at like my absolute worst. Like this is worse than no makeup. This is my makeup just deteriorating on my face and I shouldn't have started the vlog like this. So right now it is 12.31 on Friday, December the 18th and what better time to start a reading vlog. So welcome to my Christmas reading vlog. I thought this would be fun to do. I haven't done a reading vlog since my Les Mis reading vlog. That's the only other reading vlog I've ever done before. I feel like I'm particularly bad at them, but it's always an adventure because I'm so bad at them. Like, it's always just fun to do. So, you know, sometimes I get the footage and I look at it and I'm like, this is terrible. I need to, uh, delete all this and pretend it never existed. So hopefully that doesn't happen with this one. Hopefully I end up actually posting this and hopefully you're seeing this right now. So right now I'm just sitting in my room with all my Christmas lights on as one does when, you know, they're sad and trying to cope. I'm just kidding. I'm actually feeling pretty good today. Okay, ignore like my mess over there with like my mug and everything. Like you can just like pretend that doesn't exist. I have my Christmas tree over here, which is just like my mini one with like all the decorations I've collected throughout the years and Christmases as a kid. And then I have these lights framing my window, which looks a lot nicer like when my window's open, but it's nighttime right now, so that's closed. I have my bookshelf lights. Oh look, you can see me. Hey. Um, I have my bookshelf lights, which are always on, but just a few things out of my bookshelf. I have ash and calendar and the stocking and I moved the candle. Recently, I just like haven't been turning on my lights when it gets dark. I've just been like sitting here and I like the ambiance. Honestly, it's a great time. Okay, I should probably like actually talk about reading. Yes, that would be great. So today I spent all day reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I finished it. It was incredible. It was amazing. It was literally just like everything I've ever wanted in a book. Like the vibes were just so there. It felt like just like a book that I've always wanted to read and I finally found it and like that was just like a great moment. Like I really liked it. I liked all the characters. I loved the story and the message. It really changed my outlook on life a little bit or maybe not changed but like enhanced. I don't think it like really like I was like oh my god and I had this big realization but I think it definitely enhanced it which is I just okay. But now that I'm finished that book I have to find another book to read and what better book to read for a Christmas reading blog blog? This isn't a blog. What better book to read for a Christmas reading blog than A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens? I just thought, you know, why not? I actually really wanted to read this one last year for Christmas, but I never got around to it. So I'm reading it this year. It's very short and I feel like that is much needed because Addie LaRue just destroyed me emotionally and I don't want to fall into those spirals I have a tendency of falling into where I read such a good book that I like fall into this state of sadness because I now have to stop reading that book, live my life, but also like start finding new books and that's just too difficult for me. So I don't want to, I don't want that to happen. It happened with Shattered Me. It was really bad and I really just don't want that to happen. So I'm hoping going in with like something that is a beloved, a classic. I know the story. It's very short. I hope that will help, you know, prevent that from happening, but I'm very excited to get to this one. I've wanted to read it for Ever. So that's the first book I'm planning to read for this Christmas reading vlog. Now I'm gonna go wash my face, do a little, you know, skincare thing, routine, um, get ready for bed, read a little, and then go to sleep. So that's my plan for the rest of the night, and I'll see you in the morning when I hopefully look a little better. Can't guarantee it will be a lot better. Okay, bye for now. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah. Hello, we are back with an update, but not a reading one because I haven't done any reading whatsoever. I was going to do a little bit of reading last night, but instead I decided to just listen to some music, which was really nice, but I think it also prevented me from like getting to sleep. I don't know. It just doesn't help me. But right now we're doing another thing that is not reading and I'm gonna dye my hair red. I literally don't know. I've never dyed my hair before so this should be fun. I'm just gonna read the instructions, follow them. I bought like a whole like kit too off of Amazon that like has like a bowl and stuff. I, I don't know but we'll see. Okay let's go. Hello, good morning. <laughs> I didn't film anything last night because I'm I'm just bad at this but I mean, hair reveal, I guess. Hair is now auburn. 
I like it. I actually really do. I feel like it doesn't suit me, but I still like it. It's so weird. Oh, I have an advent calendar chocolate to eat. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's it's strange. Um, I didn't do the best job, so we can ignore that. I'm gonna do my makeup today, maybe take some pictures, we'll see. Okay, so last night I read a little bit of A Christmas Carol. I read about like 30 pages. I think I just read like the first like stave. Um, and so far, I mean, it's really odd because it's a classic story that I've seen so many adaptations of and I'm so familiar with the story. So reading the book for the first time, it feels like I've already read it because I feel like some of the adaptations I've seen have been like very true to the book. Like there are some like exact quotes that I'm like, hey, it's really interesting. I never really thought of it this way, but it's like a ghost story, but also like a Christmas story. I don't know. That's kind of cool. It's what time is it? It's 11 a.m. I need to get up. So today, what do I have today? Today, I hopefully will get a little bit more reading done. I don't think I will though. I think that this is going to be more of like a nighttime read kind of situation like I don't know I'll read it before I go to bed I'm just like not in the mood right now for reading during the day I don't know why but that's how it is today is Saturday and I have my last final for my first semester of university on Monday we'll be okay we're gonna we're gonna do okay so that's the plan for today is just like to study a bit for my final and then also just like relax I'm watching tiny pretty things on Netflix which is the adaptation of Tiny Pretty Things by Danielle Clayton and Sona Cheripotra, which I read like years ago, I think in like 2016. It's been a while. I don't remember everything that happened. I woke up this morning and I was so hungry, so I need to go bake myself some breakfast and I go make myself a waffle and yeah, that will fix that problem. <laughs> so, okay, I will check back in later. So yeah, bye. Guess who is finished with her first term of university? I did it. I just finished my last. It wasn't really a final. It was more of like a midterm test that I had. So just finished that. We're on winter break now. We can relax. Please tell me if you have this problem because I have this problem. I have to buy a new pair of headphones like every three months because mine always break. I always have that problem where like one of the wires probably snaps or disconnects or something and then only one ear works, you know? That just, that is my life. So it happens. These headphones, they lasted a while. I've had them since August of last year. February of this year, the like left ear started doing some some buzzing and i was like not okay with that anyways you don't care about this but they're broken this is a reading vlog where i have approximately talked about no reading so let's do that shall we here with the first stave did we talk about that marley's ghost i think we did it's exactly like every single adaptation like every single adaptation just literally took the dialogue from a christmas carol which makes sense it's a great dialogue it's fantastic it's december 21st i probably should get this finished. I look a mess. That's like old news. I need to go read, so I'm gonna go do that. Okay, hey, it's um a little later. It's a lot later. It's like 11 p.m. right now. I read the next stave of A Christmas Carol, uh, which is the ghost of Christmas past, and that's always been my favorite part of A Christmas Carol. I really like the whole ghost of Christmas past sequence, like with the Christmas party and with Belle and with that whole storyline. That's always been my favorite, and my least favorite has always been the ghost of Christmas present. That one has always freaked me out for some reason. I don't know why. I'll probably just sit down, finish the whole thing tonight, because you know, it's not like I have to wake up early tomorrow for school because I am finished. I'm done. Wow, I look like rough. <laughs> but right now I'm probably just gonna, you know, not read. I'm gonna watch an episode of Tiny Pretty Things and eat Cheerios. Check back in tomorrow morning and hopefully I'll have finished A Christmas Carol by then. <laughs> okay, hello. Please ignore all of the noise that is currently going on outside. Can you hear that? I, I honestly hope not. Anyways, hello. It is December 23rd, about 11 a.m. As you can see, I'm just totally ready for the day. I'm such an early riser. Got up at 8 a.m. No. <laughs> I am going to try and make the vlog from this point on just absolutely immaculate. We're talking like time lapses, b-roll, like we're just gonna go the whole nine yards and I'm really going to try to make this vlog 
something good. I've been thinking about the clips I have from the past few days and I really don't think they are good. So we're gonna work on that and we are going to perfect it. Anyways, so I'm talking about reading because that is what we're here for. I finished A Christmas Carol last night. I didn't vlog it because once again, like I mentioned, I've been doing a terrible job of that. It was good. It was weird because it was my first time reading it, but I've seen so many different adaptations that have taken so many different parts of the story exactly or like the dialogue that I felt like I already had read it. So it was a weird experience, but I really enjoyed it. The ending was a lot more like satisfying to see in print rather than on screen. I don't know why. It packed a bit more of a punch. I don't know. I just found it a bit more inspiring and emotional, which, you know, usually is the case with text versus screen because when you're reading it's just like you're more in it. I don't know. I feel like there's like really nothing insightful that I have to say about it but I did enjoy reading it and I am happy that I finally got around to reading it. I will say that it took me far too long. It was like a hundred pages and I was reading it and it took me like three days but it's okay because like I had an English exam like somewhere in there. I read like the last half all in one sitting so I could probably could have read it like in one or two sittings if I had really tried but here we are. Anyways I decided today would be like a good day to go full vlog because I actually have stuff to do Christmassy stuff. It's actually going to be kind of an exciting day, all things considered, like with the stuff that we can do. Can you hear that? I really... <laughs> so today, plan is I'm going to get up. That is important. We must get out of bed before we can do anything in life. Plan is get out of bed, get ready, do my makeup, um, and then I might go for a walk and listen to Evermore because that's all I want to do. I've been listening to Evermore more and more and just appreciating it so so much. Then I have to get home. I'm gonna bake some Christmas cookies. Actually this is just like a Taylor Swift kind of day. She has this recipe for like chai eggnog cookies. They're so good so I'm gonna make some of those and then later tonight I have like a Zoom Christmas party virtual thing that I am doing with my friends because we can't see each other so we're all gonna hop on a zoom call together. So with all that stuff it's it's interesting to see how much reading I will get done. As I finish the Christmas Carol I'm now going to be starting In a Holidays by Christina Lauren which I'm really excited for. I think it'll be like a really fun light holiday read but I'm hoping I will enjoy it because I know Christina Lauren the like author duo has like so many other books that are supposed to be really cute romance books that have plots that really interest me so I'm hoping I'll enjoy this one and then I can like continue on and read more books by Christina Lauren and discover a new author because that's always fun. So I'm going to go get ready and uh yeah take you with me on my day of reading and Christmas activities. It's going to be fun. I just did my makeup and I took my hair out of its braid. As for my makeup, I was attempting to do something like kind of Christmassy, like kind of holiday vibes, but it kind of ended up just as like a regular warm toned neutral eye. And that's okay, we're happy with that. This lipstick is the one I've been wearing in like every single video <laughs> and I've been wearing it every single day. It's from ColourPop. So I have to be honest, I have no idea how I'm going to fit reading into today's schedule but I'm going to, I promise. I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going, <sighs> what am I going to do right now? I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to clean my room, go for a walk, then bake cookies, and then maybe I'll get to do some reading in between baking cookies and my Zoom call. That's the plan right now, so that's what we're gonna do, and we'll hope it works out all right. So I'm just gonna talk like this. <laughs> My kitchen window has like this little ledge that I thought would be like perfect when I first saw it for like if I'm vlogging like I can set my camera down here and be in the kitchen. But like here's the deal. 
I'm like, like the, like I'm tall. Okay, so change of plans. I'm going to bake now. Um, I'm gonna make my chai tea eggnog cookies. I'll link the recipe that I'm using down below. It's basically, I believe it's the sugar cookie recipe from like Joy the Baker. And then Taylor Swift's suggestion was to put like a package of like chai tea leaves in it. And then you make like an eggnog glaze and they're so good. So plan for now. I am going to make my cookie dough. And then as part of the recipe, the dough has to like sit in the fridge to like firm up a little bit so i'm going to leave it in the fridge for an hour go for a walk during that time come back bake read while my cookies bake and that's the plan for today so i'm excited okay so we're gonna go bake and i'll put in some little clips of me baking here and there you know sprinkle them in like i'm sprinkling the flour in my cookies <laughs> it was so bad oh oh my music's probably Okay, so we have the dough right here. Even when it looks like this, it means it turned out right, and I've had so many baking failures that, like, that's very important to me. Also, baking in new clothes, wouldn't recommend it. I don't know why I put on, like, one of my newest, most favorite outfits today just to, like, bake and get messy, but I'm going to put my dough in the fridge, clean up the kitchen, clean up my room, and then go for a walk. We're right on schedule. It's going great. So that walk went for a little bit longer than I actually expected. I, I don't know, I was like super into walking during September, October, November, but then, you know, as it got colder, I just didn't feel like going out as much. I used to have like this super well-rounded routine of a time I'd go on a walk, how long I'd go, where I'd go, and now I just walk around and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I listened to Evermore. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the day I've listened to that album in full three times. It's actually a pretty nice day out today as well, and I have a feeling it's gonna be like the last day of like the season that's like actually tolerable weather where I can go outside in like a coat and a hat and like not be freezing. I will not go and walk in weather that is below zero. It was like five degrees today, which is really nice, but that also means that there's absolutely no snow on the ground. Anyways, my cookie dough is probably set and like it's a little bit more firm, so I'm gonna go bake the cookies and make the glaze. I got a Starbucks chestnut praline latte. I typically, like my favorite holiday drink from Starbucks is the caramel brulee. I tried this one this year and it's so good. So I have my Starbucks and I'm going to start in a holidays when I bake the cookies. I'm gonna sit down and read while my cookies bake. I love doing that. I do it every time I bake. When my things are in the oven, I sit down on the kitchen floor and read. It's just what I do, so yes. <laughs> one of my cookies and we're going to taste it for the first time on camera. I've tasted these cookies before. I've made them before. Anyways, it is currently, I don't know if you can see that, it's 5.30. It's already pitch black outside, but let's, let's try our cookie. Let's see. My mom already had one and she said it was good, so I trust her, but it tastes the same as the last time I had it, but this is just so good. I have my Kobo right here and I have, you know, Whoa. I have Inna Holidays right here. So I'm going to start reading that and then I'm going to have dinner and then I'm going to have my Zoom Christmas get together and then I'm gonna read a bit more tonight. I'm gonna go read Inna Holidays and the next little update I will be doing, we'll be talking about books and I'll be talking about my thoughts on the beginning of the book and how I'm liking it so far. So yeah, I'm gonna go read a little bit and when we come back, I will be telling you all of my thoughts. Okay, so it's a little bit later. It's about 7.30 right now. I'm just about to go on zoom in about like 10 minutes but i just wanted to give a quick 
little reading update on how I'm feeling about in a holidays. So far I'm enjoying it. It's kind of just what I need right now, which is just like a very light Christmas fluffy romance story. I will say there is like just a lot of telling going on. The like protagonist's inner monologue pretty much completely consists of her just being like, I am this. I am this. She basically just like says all of her personality traits like in the first few pages that I've read. I wish there was just like a bit more showing in terms of the characterization because then the characters just seem a lot more real when their personality is shown rather than told because you can have your own interpretation and make your own judgments about them and it just feels a bit more real but overall so far really enjoying it it's a really fun just like christmas read that i'm excited to continue on with later tonight so right now i'm gonna go on zoom and talk with my friends which is really nice because we haven't talked in a while so that's what i'm going to do right now <laughs> it is currently 11:53. i just got off my zoom call it was a lot of fun i had a really nice time and now i'm very tired but i do have to read before i go to sleep i want to get through a good chunk of in a holidays before i wake up tomorrow ideally i would finish in holidays tomorrow like midday and then be able to start up the afterlife of holly chase tomorrow after i finish in a holidays and then continue reading that till the 25th if it carries over to the 26th that's fine when i have to like do stuff that's christmas related after christmas is over sometimes it just makes me sad tomorrow is christmas eve which i cannot believe Ooh, snaps i've been in the christmas mood like all the whole month of december but christmas eve really just like rushed up to me and was like hey i'm here and i'm like whoa i'm not ready for you yet I'm excited for the next two days. I'm excited for Christmas Eve. It's one of my favorite days of the year. Um, I like Christmas Eve even more than Christmas because the anticipation and just all day, it's fun. I'm just gonna go get ready for bed. Maybe I'll update you later tonight with my thoughts on In a Holidays after I've read a little bit more. It's Christmas Eve. Yay. <laughs> I just woke up. As you can probably tell, I said last night that I was going to read a little bit and then give you guys an update on how I was feeling about in holidays after reading that little bit. And unfortunately, I did not do either of those things. I was just very tired and couldn't really read, I guess. I did not get any more reading of in holidays done. It is Christmas Eve, but I don't really have like a ton of like pressing things to do of Christmas Eve. So as for my plans today, reading, I have to do that. Um, and then I also want to get ready. I want to do some nice Christmas makeup. I think I have a pair of like Christmas earrings that I think would be cute to wear today. So hopefully I can find those because I can only wear them once a year. So they tend to get thrown about my room and I hope I can find them. And then I also still have to write my Christmas cards. Right now I have to go get breakfast and also get ready because oof I do not want to look like this for the rest of the day. Okay, hello. <laughs> it is a lot later. I think the last clip I did was me like doing my makeup and I tried to do the like snapping of the closing of the caps thing and make it kind of like a satisfying moment. I hope editing me was able to pull it off. I don't know. I've seen people doing that in their vlogs. So I really wanted to give it a try. Let me know if you enjoy like a time lapse or that more. I enjoy making and editing and creating them both. I did find my Christmas earrings. So plus already. So right now it is currently about like quarter to seven. I just finished up dinner with my family. I'm going to watch A Christmas Carol with my dad around midnight. But since it's seven, that also means I have a few hours before that. And what better way to spend those few hours than reading? I am going to be reading in a holidays. I know I said like I check back up when I've read more, but like I haven't read anything today and it's making me really sad. So I should probably read some more. Well, hopefully I'll be able to finish it like before midnight like before the day is over and then I will start the afterlife of Holly Chase. That's just an estimate though. We'll see. I don't 
really know, but like I don't want to be reading Christmas books too far after Christmas because like I mentioned last night, it makes me sad. So I'm excited to read a bit more. I might just watch some YouTube videos too. We're just gonna have a nice relaxing Christmas Eve and I will come back and check in again when I've read a little bit more and let you guys know my thoughts. I know I've been saying that so much and then I've come back and been like, actually, I didn't read anything, but I promise that this time I will have read some more because I'm, I'm going to read like right now. Okay, so I am reading. I have my Kobo right here and I just wanted to pop on here and say that I am so happy with my reading atmosphere right now. I think you can kind of see it's snowing. Like I mentioned, it was pretty warm yesterday, but tonight I think there's like a snowstorm coming. So it's going to be one of those Christmases where it's just like not snowy at all and then Christmas morning it's just like snow so that's very magical so yeah I'm just reading in a holidays I'm enjoying it so far um I've read a few more pages I've been reading for about 15 minutes and I'm gonna go read a few more I have just gotten done reading for about a little over an hour um I'm about halfway through the book so I should be able to finish it tonight depends I'm really enjoying it so far I feel like it's perfect for this time because it's just such a really light feel good read it's really just making me happy it also seems to really be about like change and making the most of your life and taking charge of your happiness I will say the love and trust Andrew is just like a little too perfect like don't get me wrong we love reading about absolutely perfect fictional men but like also at the same time I wish he just had like a few more flaws he is literally perfect you know he's like kind generous outgoing strong hardworking. I could say where are those men but we don't want to get into that conversation right now I'm gonna take a bit of a break from reading because my e-reader actually just died it's currently about like 8 30 i'm gonna relax watch youtube until like 10 and then pick up my reading again at 10 and i should be able to finish it in a little under two hours i haven't talked about what this book is about at all it's basically about this woman named may she's 26 she's not satisfied with her life and every year her family and her family friends who she's been friends with like since she was a kid um go to this cabin in utah to celebrate the holidays and basically she ends up in the situation where it's like a groundhog's day thing she keeps reliving the same disastrous holiday over and over again so the time like reset that i'm in right now i'm actually really enjoying and i don't really want to leave it like i'm like you know what i like the way things are going here like if we could just continue on that would be fantastic we'll see how things wrap up i think we have tiramisu so uh, and i have coffee oh my god i can have tiramisu with my coffee yes that sounds amazing that's what i'm gonna go do now um but i'll update you a little later tonight i'd say my rating right now is like a solid four out of five stars so we'll see what the second half does to that rating. Will it increase it? Will it decrease it? We don't know. Stay tuned. loved it. So I initially wasn't planning to update you guys until I had finished in a holidays, but I was just looking around at my setup right now and it's just so serene. Look at this. This is just like the most perfect Christmas reading vibe. There do you see? It's snowing. It's 1.30 going on 2, which is like honestly one of my favorite times of the day. Like I love 2 a.m. I'm confident I can finish by like 2 a.m. I want to try and like get to sleep by 3 in the morning. I don't know if I'm going to start the afterlife of Holly Chase tonight. I think I'm probably going to and maybe read like 5 or 10 pages just to say that I started it and then I'm going to go to sleep. I'll let you know all of my thoughts on In a Holidays when I'm finished reading it. Um, so far like I'm really enjoying it. It's really fun. It was just what I needed. I'm just reading it with the biggest smile on my face. It's such a light 
feel good read like i have critiques of it um but i honestly don't really care because it's just a fun christmas book like i'm just really happy reading it so i'm going to continue and finish it because i really want to see how everything is tied up it's currently 2 a.m and i just finished in holidays it was really good i really enjoyed it i think i'm going to stick with my rating of four out of five stars i mean it was light christmas Fun. It was just a really nice escape and a really nice fun story to read in these, you know, not so fun times. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the message of like change and that it's okay to like change your path as long as you are the one who is at the steering wheel. You are the captain of your own soul and you are going off on that change because you want to make it because you want to live your most authentic life i thought that was really cool anyways i need to stop it's two in the morning because i still have all of this makeup that has like expired on my face so i need to you know do my skincare routine get ready for bed and then something that i just realized is that i forgot to write my christmas cards today so that is going to be a 3 a.m. endeavor is to write my Christmas cards for my family. In short, get ready for bed, write my cards, read a little bit of the afterlife of Holly Chase. Oh my god, it's snowing again. Read a little bit of the afterlife of Holly Chase and then go to sleep, wake up Christmas morning. Actually, technically, it's 2 a.m., so it's already Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. I have to get going. <laughs> thank you. If you're still here, thank you. Um, honestly, I really appreciate it, and I'm gonna go to bed, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning everybody and Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. It's weird. I last night got ready for bed, you know, pretty much did everything that I said I would do so there's really not much to update on. I wrote my Christmas cards and then I read like two pages of the afterlife of Holly Chase and then I was like I can't do this and I went to sleep. So far though, I can say already that like just having read a couple of pages, you know, like reading the Dickens novella and then like watching the 1951 adaptation, which is like very close to just the original novella, I see so many more connections in Holly Chase and A Christmas Carol because it's a retelling, but a lot of the time like retellings like there's a lot of things that'll go right over my head and I won't notice like how they're connected to the original thing so now I am noticing that just ran out of space on my SD card but I think I have to go anyways because I think my family's waiting for me I have to go but I'll be back in a couple hours okay hello I have finished opening up presents with my family and now I think this will just be like my little outro. So A Christmas Carol, read it. I loved it. It's a classic. I really loved the message and the ending was like very satisfying. I really loved reading it and then watching the adaptation and seeing all the ways the adaptation interpreted the original text while also staying very true to it. It was just really amazing and I'm so glad that I got the chance to read this classic because it's really short and I'm really happy that I read it this year. So I gave it a four out of five stars. Loved it. In a holidays, honestly, loved it as well. I feel like any other time of the year I'd be like, uh, but because it's Christmas, I was like, you know what? Yeah, it's great. So it was just what I needed. It's such a light, fun, contemporary. It was really fun to read. I had such a great time reading it on Christmas Eve and I would recommend, if you want to read it, would definitely recommend doing it next Christmas because it was really fun. Okay, so in true I'm a mess fashion, my camera just ran out of space on my second SD card. Too much about the afterlife of Holly Chase in this vlog but you know I adore it it's a really great Christmas read and I always end up reading it like a little after Christmas is already over anyways so I'm not too like stressed about finishing it tonight I'm probably just going to read it at my own pace that is all I have for my holiday reading vlog I'm kind of sad to say goodbye I've really enjoyed vlogging especially like vlogging so much these past few days it's been really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a very happy holiday season and a happy new year and I wish you all the best. If you are watching this, I wish you love, happiness, peace. Anyways, this has gone on for way too long so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Happy holidays and I will see you very soon with another one. Bye!